For months, the uncertainty over whether or where this year's Fela Music Festival would be held has been going on. Now, it's, it appears that everything is settled, that the uncertainty has finally ended, with Cork having been agreed as a venue. But why all the controversy? Uh, why have the residents of so many places like Turles, Kildare, Port Leisha rejected that concert? And will there be a further protest from the people of Cork? Donna McGrath reports. Streets like a jungle Thurlis was probably Ireland's most successful rock festival. It's estimated over its run that it brought £7 million a year to the town and helped significantly reduce the debt on Semple Stadium. So why the objections in other proposed locations this year? A number of prominent Guardian clergy began to object about Thurlis. Drink, drugs and debauchery were the first problems. There were complaints over the number of people seen drunk or on drugs in the town that was the birthplace of the GAA. The vast majority of the crowds, however, were peaceful and well-behaved. There were comparatively few arrests. But wherever such large crowds gather, you will have crime. Crime which gave the festival a bad name for some. One girl, she had £120 in her top pocket, and that was taken, and she can't remember the guy that took it, but, like, the guards even said that it was at her own risk. Having such a large, temporary campsite also led to complaints of lack of facilities. A complaint which had led to fears of overcrowding in a number of proposed locations for this year's Fela. So what about Cork? Those in favour say Cork's experience of Shimsa Kushli and other rock events in the past prepare it for all eventualities. But does it really? Modern three-day rock festival is very different from those one-day events of the 70s and 80s. They attract bigger crowds for longer periods, needing more facilities and generally causing more problems. So what do the people of Cork think? Phil, it's, it's quiet, it's over-exaggerated anyway, no late, so. Well, it's going to be drugs anyway, like brass anyway, like, you know? I don't know about drinking drugs. But I say if the Gardaí walk out a good plan, I say there'd be no hassle. Well, there's bound to be trouble with kids around, like, and drink and whatever you have, like, but there's nothing you can do about that. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Excellent. We're definitely going to see it. I don't really know, because uh, with a lot of drugs and drink, do you not think it would cause a lot of problems to our, as I say, nice city? I wouldn't be for it. I think Mr. Red Police, well stewarded, well looked after. We'd have no trouble at all, I'd say. But um, I can see people in the area, all right, would be a little bit worried about it. Uh, around the Black Hawk area. I think there's a good promotion for the city, and we've handled the thing, these type of events before, and I think we're well capable of handling them again. It's very good for the cock business, and um, there's, no, there's, there's never any trouble there, and it's fantastic for our business as well. Like, you know, we get great off them all of it. <laughs> 